Hello, Claire Yosa here today with my Eva Action co-founder hat on. And I've got to share with you an update I prayed I would never have to share. As you will know, if you've been part of the Eva Action campaign, thank you to the thousands of businesses that have worked with us to create what we discovered last December was going to be a 10,000 euro threshold on digital exports within the EU and simplifications below 100,000 euros that would allow the smallest businesses to keep trading with just the one piece of data that could be the customer self-declared data, the promise of home country audit control so you wouldn't be audited by 27 member states and all sorts of other simplifications to the EU VAT rules. We have finally had confirmation from the EU Commission that these thresholds and simplifications will not apply to the UK after Article 50 on the 29th of March. They've been reviewing them as a result of the laws they're bringing in to put VATMOS into place for physical goods, probably in 2020. They've realised the UK was the major beneficiary of these simplifications and thresholds, and they've decided no longer will they apply to businesses outside of the EU. And they are bringing that into effect on the 1st of January when the threshold and simplifications for digital sales are due to come in. So what does this mean for you if you are selling anything that's downloaded digitally within the EU? Well, we get the threshold and the simplifications for 88 days. And that is it. Okay, after those 88 days, the UK loses that moss. The UK government, we've seen paperwork, has not even asked to keep VATMOS. The EU Commission has recommended to me that we all register for non-union MOS, most likely in, North, in Southern Ireland, on the 1st of January. Because when you come to submit your end of quarter return at the end of March, there will be no UK VATMOS system to use. The UK government isn't yet telling businesses about this. This is insane. Okay, They're telling us, go and find out what the effect of Brexit might be. They're not giving us clear advice. Now, you might think registering for non-union MOS is easy. The registering is, but it means you have to track the euro rate every single day through that three months to get the correct conversion from sterling to euros to do your return. You lose the protection of HMRC. If a member state decides to come after you over a five euro discrepancy, which has happened time and again, you lose the home country audit control. You lose the HMRC light touch. We lose that threshold, the 10,000 euros, and we lose the simplifications below 100,000 euros. This is going to close thousands of UK micro businesses. Many thousands more are going to be forced to use platforms to sell internationally for all of their sales that take up to 70% in commission. The government, as I say, they haven't done an impact assessment for micro businesses yet on Brexit. We do not keep these thresholds during any transition period if Brexit happens with a deal rather than no deal because we won't be inside the EU. And the EU Commission is very clear, the law states that VATMOS, the threshold and the simplifications only apply to EU member states. When I met with Andrew Griffiths, who was the small business minister earlier this year about GDPR, he confirmed that he hadn't had a single meeting with a micro business to talk about the potential impact of Brexit and that nobody was doing anything really other than talking to the huge industry bodies like the CBI and the FSB, who are great, but we know from sitting in meetings with them over EU VAT that they don't understand the impact of changes like this on digital micro businesses. So what we need is for all of us to get active writing physical letters with stamps to MPs. This is what will get them paying attention. And what we need to ask for is that they must ensure the government negotiates that through the transitional period, we get to keep VATMOS, we get to keep the threshold, we get to keep the simplifications with a view to finding a permanent workable solution. We have the Prime Minister today in New York talking about frictionless trade and how good the UK will be for business. And she hasn't, her team hasn't even asked for us to keep the thresholds, the simplifications or that moss. They haven't even asked. We've seen documents from the government that explicitly say they will not be keeping that moss. 
Okay, now when physical goods come on board with this in a couple of years' time, not having access to Vatmos will affect a hundred thousand businesses instead of a few tens of thousands. This is going to be a huge issue for us. So please write to your MP and here's some guidelines for the letter. As I say, in the post, it has so much more effect than one of these online systems. When they get a hundred letters from each constituency, so thousands of businesses writing to them, they will have to listen. And it really is a quality and numbers game. We need thousands of businesses writing to their MPs to explain. There's the three Ps here. One, be polite. Okay. Doesn't matter how you feel about Brexit, which side of the wall you're on, be polite. Because if you're not polite, your MP is not going to support you. Two is be to the point. Okay. Less than a page and explain the third P, personal, how specifically losing VATMOS, losing the threshold, losing the simplifications, and possibly even Brexit as a whole, is going to negatively affect your business. Have the call to action that your MP needs to ensure that through the transitional period, we keep VATMOS, we keep the threshold, we keep the simplifications, with a view to finding a permanent workable solution. They have the means to get that through the channels. You and I don't. So this is the call to action. Write to your MP. Okay, I'll put a draft outline of the letter in the EU VAT Action campaign group on Facebook. Please come and join us there. I'll put a link to that below this video as well. This is really, really serious. We have the government out there saying Brexit is brilliant for business. The smallest businesses in the UK risk closing down over this. OK, it's an unintended consequence of Brexit, but the government hasn't even asked to keep our thresholds that we all spent so many years negotiating so we could keep trading. Let me know via the comments when you've sent your letter. Let me know what the replies are. Between us, we can make enough noise that our MPs and the government will have to act to support us on this and to keep us trading. Thank you for any help you can offer. If you've got contacts in the media, we're really happy to talk about this, to explain what's going on. Between us, like last time, we can make the difference that needs to be made.